Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a little while. I wanted to update you guys on some of the recent software updates from Tesla. I haven't done this in a little while, so I wanted to catch up. This is reviewing uh, 2022.20.9 as well as 2022.16. So I wanted to review these for you. The first one is speed assist. This is what helps control um, how fast the car can go during autopilot. Uh, this is also a, I guess, a formal update that I'm now on Tesla Vision. Uh, I think this is only available in the newer uh, Teslas. If you happen to know better, please put uh, comments down below. So speed assist. Uh, your vehicle is now running Tesla Vision. It will rely on a camera vision coupled with neural net processing to deliver certain autopilot, and active safety features. Vehicles using Tesla Vision have received top safety ratings and fleet data shows that it provides overall enhanced safety for all of our customers. Note that with Tesla Vision, available following distance settings are from two to seven and auto steer top speed is 85 miles an hour. And I, that's actually gone up. It used to be at 80 miles an hour. So 85 is a little bit better. Uh, next one we have is the cabin camera. This is the cabin camera that's right above the uh, rear view mirror. So the cabin camera above your rear view mirror. And just those of you that don't know, that's right here where that cabin camera is right above me in the uh, rear view mirror. So um, what that will do now is actually look um, to determine if the driver has any inattentiveness and provide you with audible alerts to remind you to keep your eyes on the road when autopilot is engaged. So this only works when autopilot's engaged. And then they go into a number of um, of uh, statements just letting you know that they're not saving any of the images. Those images are not being transmitted from the camera itself. So um, overall, that would concern me a little bit about data privacy. But um, I guess you got to have a little bit of trust with Tesla, especially if they're going to provide better features and enhancements. I, for one, you know, I don't usually fall asleep at the wheel, but if I was in autopilot, and uh, my eyes did start to shut. I do like having that camera safety there. It's kind of a nice feature to have there. Some people will just cover up the camera. I don't know if that's going to not work now with autopilot. That's something that'd be interesting. If any of you guys have tried that, please let me know. Just put a little piece of tape over that camera. Go into autopilot. What actually happens? I'd be curious there. Okay. Next one is something that's kind of exciting. This is um, seatbelt system enhancement. Uh, this is where Tesla um, kind of understands right before you get into an accident and they have the ability to uh, tighten up the seatbelt and prepare it automatically within milliseconds from when you actually get in an accident itself. This is supposed to improve um, uh, your life and safety on the car. So um, overall, this is a, a definitely a welcome feature. Uh, it's pretty crazy that a Tesla and a computer can detect crashing uh, even faster than humans. Basically, I guess through the uh, the vision capability and the autopilot that uh, the computer has itself. Okay, next is the Tesla adaptive suspension. Uh, this is allows the car to adjust its suspension. I like to ride my car in low setting to medium setting, depending on that. What this will do now is in certain parts of roads that I travel frequently, like there's a major highway here in California called Highway 680. I'm on that road going north or south quite a bit when I go down into uh, the office. And um, having this will, essentially what will happen with the fleet is where there's really bumpy roads or the, you know, the cement or the asphalt is in not good shape. Overall, Tesla will remember those areas, and before I get to them now, it will start to raise my suspension and soften my suspension, so when I get there, uh, it's a more pleasant ride. Um, they do this with the entire fleet of Teslas, so if there's someone else that drives that area and 
um, definitely uh, registers on the mainframe computers that uh, it is a rougher ride. This will help me before I hit it. So that's really nice to have. All right, next one. And this is in the release prior. Uh, next one we're going to go down to here is Autopilot Maximum Speed. This is when they went from 80 to 85 miles an hour um, in the Autopilot. And uh, they want to remind you, obviously, to uh, use, you know, use your best sense in uh, the speed that you go on the highway. Next one is driver profiles. I think I did go over this at one point, but this is pretty cool. My wife and I use this car quite a bit together. Um, and what happens is when her profile is set up on the car, it will remember Spotify login, certain music uh, stations and the media player accounts that are logged in as well. That's really nice if she's got certain playlists and things like that set up in Spotify versus my playlists and everything. So uh, that's really nice to have. All right, navigation energy uh, prediction. Uh, this is where the car will understand um, how the car is running when it's in the energy prediction mode. It will, it will adjust based on wind and um, humidity, um, just different temperatures that are going on. Um, this is really handy when you're on road trips and um, you're not sure if it's going to be, you know, really windy, uphill, anything like that that's on the road that might drain the battery further. Or perhaps if there's a lot of downhill areas, maybe it's going to enhance the battery by um, activating the regenerated brakes. So overall, I think this is a welcome feature. It's going to give you much more accurate um, destination timing when you are on road trips. Or even if you're not on a road trip and you're driving down into the office each day, I think it's going to be more accurate taking into account some of those things that will affect uh, the battery and driving on the road. Things like wind, hills, um, humidity, uh, temperature overall for the, uh, the battery itself. So overall, this is a quick video. I just wanted to update you guys on some of the latest software updates. I know I haven't been uh, keeping those up to date for you guys. So hopefully you find this interesting. Uh, overall, the car's doing really well. I'm, a, I'm about 1,500 miles or so, 2,000 miles or so from my um, 15,000 mile update. Car's been doing good, no problems at all. Uh, please like the video if you guys like to get videos like this. Also give me um, a thumbs up with the like. I appreciate that. Um, and if you haven't subscribed already, check out all the videos. I do a lot of videos on Teslas. I'm going to start introducing some of my other cars to the channel. But overall, I appreciate any, any feedback. And if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, put questions in the comments. More than happy uh, to get back to you guys. Thanks again for your time today, guys. Take care.